You may wonder, why do we get these diseases? So we will discuss to you the different kinds of infectious agents that causes this communicable disease. Bacteria. Bacteria are tiny, single-celled organisms that get nutrients from their environments. Some bacteria are good for our bodies. They help keep the digestive system in working order and keep harmful bacteria from moving in. But bacteria can cause troubles too, as with cavities, urinary tract infections, ear infections, or strep throat. Antibiotics are used to treat bacterial infections. Viruses are even smaller than bacteria. They aren't even a full cell. They are simply genetic material, DNA or RNA, packaged inside a protein coating. They need to use another cell structures to, to reproduce, which means they can't survive unless they're, they're living inside something else, such as a person, animal, or plant. Germs live every, everywhere. You can find germs or microbes in the air, on food, plants, and animals, in soil and water, on just about every, day, every other surface, including your body. Most germs won't, won't harm you. Your immune system protects you against infectious agents. However, some germs are formidable adversaries because they're constantly mutating to breach your immune system's defenses. Fungus, a single-celled or multicellular organism. Fungi can be true pathogens that cause infections in healthy persons or they can be opportunistic pathogens that cause infections in immunocompromised persons including cancer patients, transplant recipients, and persons with AIDS. Insects such as mosquitoes, lice, fleas, bedbugs, and ticks are able to transmit a number of Diseases caused by infectious agents. This disease thrives mainly in tropical environment. Now that we know what causes communicable diseases, let us now discuss what is communicable disease and the different examples of this. A communicable disease is one of one that is spread from one person to another through a variety of ways that include contact with blood and bodily fluids. Breathing in an airborne virus or being bitten by an insect. Here are some communicable diseases that are caused by these infectious agents. Pneumonia, measles, malaria, influenza, meningitis, hepatitis, HIV or AIDS, and tuberculosis. How do we prevent this kind of situations? We will tell you the ways to prevent the spreading of communicable diseases. Here you go! Get vaccinated. Vaccination is the best way to protect yourself and others. When a vaccine against an infection or a disease is available, get it. Immunization can drastically reduce your chances of contracting many diseases. Keep your recommended vaccinations up to date. Use antibiotics sensibly. Take antibiotics only when prescribed, unless otherwise directed or unless you are allergic to them. Take all prescribed doses of your antibiotic. Stay at home if you have signs and symptoms of an infection. Don't go to work or class if you're vomiting. Have diarrhea or are running a fever. 